Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you my graphic settings for Minecraft. So if you're on a low-end PC, you'll probably get upwards of 60 FPS. Um, Mid-end PC, probably 2 to 300 FPS. And if you're on a high-end laptop, like I am, um, you'll get an average of uh, 6 to 800 FPS. If you're on a high-end PC, which is which has higher specs than my laptop, um, and performs better, whatever, you'll probably get around a thousand FPS or maybe even more so it really depends on the PC but the graphic settings also do um, play into how much FPS you are getting so let's take a look at the video settings main things that are important here fast graphics um, render distance at 8 I don't set it to 4 because render distance 8 at least you can see stuff around you if you set it to 4 uh, I find that it is a little bit too low for my liking but of course you can change that to uh, 4 you want the frame limiter to be unlimited so your frames can go as high as your computer can handle I've got view bobbing off because when you're view bobbing uh, when your uh, view bobbing is on um, the aim is a little bit less accurate uh, so when you're trying to aim at your opponent or when you're trying to bridge, it won't be as accurate as if you have view bobbing off. But it does some, uh, it does look like you're floating across the ground because there is no like hand bob. So um, personal preference, I like it off. And then there's the rest of the settings. I don't think the rest matter too much. I've got the br brightness set to max. I actually have a full bright in lunar. Uh, I use the lighting mod and then full bright so I can see things in darkness. Alright, next up, video settings and um, for details I have clouds off, trees fast, um, fog fancy, I'm not sure why it's fancy, I just use, uh, I usually use fast, rain and snow fast, so everything that can be set to fast, set it to fast. Aside from clouds, which you want to turn off, because in different maps, in different servers, um, the clouds might be at, like, uh, the clouds will be at the same Y level, but different maps will be at different Y levels, and the clouds might, I guess, obstruct your vision. Um, so yeah, that's, um, that's that. You can copy the rest of the settings, but I think those were the most important in this screen. Animations, I didn't change anything. Um, for quality, I've got this stuff set to this. I'm not sure what it does, but it does seem to perform well. Um, I got anisotropic filtering off, anti-aliasing off, mipmap type nearest, and uh, mipmap levels maximum. These perform well for me. Maybe they'll perform well for you. From my experience, this has been very good. And also, uh, if you're running Optifine, or if you're running Lunar, Badline, whatever, I recommend setting connected textures to fast, but other than that, that's all for this screen. Um, for performance, I have smooth FPS off. Um, this is useful if you have low FPS, but obviously I'm not getting low FPS. Take a look, 850 FPS. So uh, we're going to keep that off. For fast render, I have it turned on, it's fast, that's why I have it on. Um, smooth world, I have that on, I'm not sure exactly what it does, let's see. Removes lag spikes caused by internal server, I think you'll want that on. Fast math on, it's faster. Um, I have dyna uh, dynamic updates off, so it's standard chunk updates per frame, so it doesn't take up um, as much performance as if you have it on and also lazy chunk loading on because it's smoother but that's pretty much all that um, is in the graphics settings so performs pretty well for me obviously the higher resolution texture pack you go to or the more shaders uh, the, the higher quality shaders you go to the more it will impact your performance, but those are the graphic settings that I use. So we're gonna play a couple rounds of, uh, oh, were they Alex and Steve? I'm not sure, but 
uh, we're gonna play maybe around a fireball fight because I can show off the good FPS. I'm not sure exactly how that would be useful to you, but um, I can show it off, I guess. So there we go. We are in fireball fight now. Um, this is a pretty fun game mode. If you haven't tried it out yet, I recommend trying it out. It's on the server Mind Men Club. I actually did a video on it a little while back, but. Um, No, as you can see, my PvP skills are uh, very bad as usual. But I can try again. See, my video is quite smooth. I'm pretty sure the video is capturing at 60 FPS, so 700 FPS isn't gonna make a difference than if I had 200 FPS. It's gonna be the exact same amount of smoothness, but it is still very smooth. Uh, on my monitor. Oh, I keep missing that ledge there. It's a good thing I built this bridge. I can conserve one fireball um, just in case I need it. Uh oh. He's going to this. Let's Ah, perfect. Good save. Let's build a uh, basic defense. Whoops. We're going to need to remove that lock. Double misplace. Unlucky. Triple misplace. Unlucky. Finally. Alright. He's coming close. He's coming close. Respawn. Well, he got us. Good game. Alright, anyways, um, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I've got a new, like, pop filter and stand for my microphone. So, previously in some, um, well, actually, a lot of my videos, you might have heard, like, plosive sounds when I said, like, uh, some word that had P, B, or any uh, word with that. I, it would have, like, really distorted sound when I said that um, close to the microphone. So now with the microphone stand, it's a bit further from my mouth, so mic sounds less distorted, uh, less noisy and sounds higher quality and with the pop filter it reduces the amount of plosive noises so it sounds like how it would actually sound not how the mic picks it up if that makes sense because the mic will pick up like if, if I'm if I say uh, purple paper people there's three P's so it's and there's like a um, burst of air that goes directly to the mic. Usually it would pick it up, but with the windscreen and pop filter, um, it helps to reduce that kind of noise. So yeah, um, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I'm playing around with the audio settings um, for my bigger videos, which I'm going to continue producing very, very soon. And sorry about not uploading um, for a couple of days. Hopefully I can upload every three to five days. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye